You're listening to End of the Real. Oh my god! Hello everybody, we're doing a cool, cold special this week. It is The Snowman. It's a film with the guy whose name I just forgot. Michael Fassbender? That's the one. As Harry Hole. Yeah, he's Apparently a, a lot of people joke about the name that is like... I didn't even I didn't even notice his name throughout right, the movie because he's got holes in the story. He has Harry holes, and he's he is a hole, an asshole. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's a bit of an and asshole. an alcoholic. I didn't think about any of that. <laughs> I just, I just and thought his, <laughs> and is a hole of charisma because you know you put charisma in there it disappears. I because you know how uncharismatic he is. Holes in the plot. Oh, yeah, and the movie is full of holes. Anyway, Harry Hole is a washed, deadbeat detective. Now, I think this is I also think it's based a, series off a series of books. Of books. Yes. This is, I think this is like the fifth in a row in a series. Now, that's really important to put out because there. Because he's already in a... It's like they talk about how he's like, oh, he's a great detective. He's great, but he's hit a bad patch. And I'm yeah. like, he's, from the look of it, n- the Norwegian police force is a bunch of... Drunks and weirdos. Now we're gonna get. That, I'm, that's I'm their words. Give, half of them are described as drunks. The others half are like half wits. I'm gonna give this movie some sort of book, some sort of you know pass. I'm, I'm guessing the book without is good, reading it. But I haven't read the book. Yeah. So, so with, I have read. I've watched it, the movie without reading it and watching this movie. I can see now. I'm not giving them. I'm not saying the movie did this well, but I can see how there's a lot of potential. To a story, like I can see how the story probably should have been said if it was in a book, or if it was out over multiple movies or TV shows. But the movie is crap because they do so much in it and it's so poorly executed. Did at any point did you feel scared of the killer or worried about him? No, I was just kind of he was just waiting sort of, for him to get the next one down. Right, he kills maybe like. Two people in the f- movie? Nah, well, the flashbacks, we have to include them. Oh, uh, yeah. I think, no, he kills more. Oh, he kills a few. He but kills it's, about five. He's not, Six. it's just dull. Most of the movie is focused on Harry Hole's life and uh, the life of his new partner. Yeah, so a lot of it is focused on how dysfunctional he is. And, and how he is and how partner. they're all dysfunctional. She's dealing with Daddy issues, she's constantly filming people. There's very little of this film where we're like, oh, they're trying to track down a killer. Most of it was us saying, are they going to look into this killer? They don't look at clues or anything. They're just running around looking into each other. I mean, I, I'd, so, the, all, all the I'd accidentally work. pointed out who it was halfway through because I'm like, there's only one character who it could possibly be because they're the only one who isn't a policeman or... That's the, the obvious one. red herring. That's the biggest one in the book where it's like, I think the red herring was meant to be pretty good. Like it was, it seemed like it, that's actually a pretty good. Setup. At no point did you think that the people they were investigating actually did it. No, D- to the point where we were confused why they're investigating. There was no evidence against. Well, that's the thing. Most of the movie is an. In- most of the movie is Michael Fassbender trying to figure out why the chick is trying to look into this rich doctors dudes. Right. It's not about the killers, even though. That's meant to be the red herring, but I think I think the guy, the, the the murderer, is killing people and trying to get their attention. He's leaving notes mocking them, and they're like, they look at the notes and go, "Okay, but I've got to go to uh, find out where she lived and grew up." Okay, bye. Yeah, it, but I I just found most of the movie was him investigating his partner, not the actual crimes that they were meant to be doing. I mean, the partner's dad, who is played by Val Kilmer and oh, is hilariously boy. dubbed. Well, he's actually dubbed. He's actually He's dubbed. completely... All of his lines are dubbed over and it looks ridiculous whenever he's talking because it's clearly not him. I also think there's a few 80-yard lines where they added in they're, stuff they're, It the felt like there were a few parts that were actually dubbed because you, at first I'm like, is this like a foreign movie that's been put in English? But then you're right. looking at it it's like, no, these are all English and American actors. So it's set in... A few, only a couple of them are even trying for an accent. Well, it's set in Norway and we just get... We get just get shown Michael Fassbender starting off, and he's drunk in a children's play park, which, which is, is a, a recurring theme. He keeps going to like children's parks, and it, when he gets on the train, he goes to the children's section. Yeah, it's about as close as you can get to a child before you know you got to become a priest. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Hey, well, Here actually, we go. the first thing we see is Jokes. a flashback, which is the only attempt to explain why the killer is doing anything, any of this. Yeah. Uh, it goes to him as a little kid, and it's obviously the killer. 
Uh, he is the bastard child of the local police officer, and his mom kills herself. Yeah, the policeman's like, hey, you know what? You guys are just really weird. I'm just going. Which which makes him hate women and they are on. really weird he hates he hates uh, he hates women because he feels no, he that his mother abandoned he him he hates mothers who are cheating or no uh, no, no, no no get who 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 abandon their kid who don't live love their kids yeah so the women he kills are all like getting abortions and stuff or yeah. they've had an affair and they've got some other else to hey, raise you know their kid you know but they really don't funny? ever tell the kid who the dad is you know the guy who's meant to be the red herring only now thinking about it am i connecting the dots to make him a red herring i totally missed them you know yeah. the one where he goes oh yes i was an orphan i was just like okay cuz it doesn't feel well, like it i know it i think we were like meant to think the the there's this business tycoon and i think we're meant to think it's either him or his friend his doctor friend who is his pimp the weird thing is with him... Like Who the, pimps for him. I mean, the, the rich businessman man isn't a prostitute. Let's get to the rich businessman, actually, real quick. Do you, do you reckon? He's just a, a weird pervert. I No, honestly... Well, okay, the, the, uh, no, the pictures... Straight, straight he, he keeps, like, snapping pictures of chicks he wants to sleep with. That's no, a little weird. No, he doesn't even do that. He has one chick who is brought to him. Okay. And here's the thing, too. Well, that is a little strange, though. Yeah. But he gets an escort brought to him and he takes a picture of the escort. That's, Was she an escort? Not, no, whatever. Yeah, that's not that... It's not even that We. It's like, it's a service. It's an industry. It's a little creepy. A little... That is That is the most we have on this guy for being a... He's a bit of a creep. The, and the he's most, not a very nice businessman because he screws his partner. I mean, it screws his partner out of business. from the partner's point of view. Yeah. Like, honestly, I'm not even counting that. The most we have on this businessman is he might be a bit creepy that's it that's the most we have on him as being as like an evil character but we like are constantly like oh he's he's a bad guy but that's it yeah he likes to have sex with women he's rich and he loves helping people and that's the weird thing that they don't do they they keep talking about how much he donates to different charities and how he helps helps oslo get the winter olympics so he helps people a lot and he might use escorts to have sex with. Yeah, it's a bit of a douche, but that's about How it. Does it. Honestly, that doesn't make him a douche. If he's paying for like an escort, they come up. I don't know if it's legal in Norway. It doesn't. I just don't think it's that. Bad. Okay, okay, yeah. Well, I just. I, I think his character. Yeah, the 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 the, ma- the guys who were like they keep investigating are, are so obviously not the killers. It's ridiculous. It, it really it, is. It's just bizarre because the actual murderer is taunting them. They're. At one point, he calls him to the woman he's about to kill, and as they're driving away, he comes in, murders them. He must be incredibly athletic because he's like, not oh, only is he doing this during a gigantic snowstorm. Down a, a, what was that? Some sort of giant well. Yeah, it's like a well or a well, silo of some sort. It's sort? like a, it looks. It was looked like a water. Uh, what's it? What they called the water? Like a water tank. It, it looked like a water, t- but a giant water tank. But then inside, instead of having water or anything like that, it was dug down into the earth even more. But to the point where, like, you have to scale a yeah. the side of a. And his cliff whole almost. thing, his whole snowman thing, is he keeps building snowmen around where he's murdered people or where he's watching people, and putting coffee beans in their mouths. But at no point is that ever a clue. No one goes, "Hey, maybe we should look at these spooky uh, snowmen that are at every scene with." coffee beans in their mouths well, Courtney, they, they just go from scene to scene going so how's your personal life going i say my personal life isn't going so well look for the snowman yeah look for put out a whatever place who's call. the weird dude who's stalking you yeah who must have like bags of coffee beans with him he must he must be carrying coffee beans because he's leaving them everywhere i t- i really thought there'd be a scene where like that guy's talking to him and he drops some coffee beans and just to highlight how bad of a detective this Harry Holes guy is, there is a scene where he comes back to his house. I wasn't sure if he was drunk at this point. Mm-hmm. And he starts raging at the guy who no, is he was drunk. dealing with... Oh, he was drunk at he this point? To, hey, hey, okay. No, I think this is no, no, because he comes back to, from the police station. Today. Yeah, I think he's meant to be drunk like all the time sort of thing. No, no, but he deliberately doesn't drink towards the end. Oh, okay. Like he's kicked the habit or something. He comes home and... The guy who's getting rid of the mold is like decked out in his thing and he's he's dancing to, to the, the music that music to the, the same music from all the crime scenes. 
and he's just like dancing crazily and the and the detective just throws him out and of course as he's walking out he's taking off all the gear and then you see oh but there's the actual mold guy over there and he's like hey and you're just like, dude, that's too much on the So nose. the killer was actually in his apartment dancing in front of him. Whoa. And he keeps bringing him new prescriptions because, spoilers, it turns out it's the guy's ex's new boyfriend who is really friendly and keeps giving him prescriptions for sleeping tablets. Which was a whole thing later on when the wife find, when the, the girlfriend finds out and she's like, why were you going to him for help? Doesn't, doesn't that make him... Be a terrible parent. Though? Which one? They're both terrible parents. The no, the killer. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't he technically be to blame? For what? Well, I guess that's a big thing. Is he just blames the woman, even though it was actually the dude's fault for his thing? Yeah, and and, and but it's like, but no, but the policeman. I don't think he's the kid's dad. Is he? No. Yeah, he's not. But no, no, no. I'm saying like he's saying to that guy like, oh, why don't you care about the kid? All this crap. Yeah. What about him? He's just pretended to be the boyfriend for, like, months now. So what kind of fucking father figure are you, douchebag? He was obviously insane. I No, but that's the thing. I, his motivation isn't entirely clear, even towards the end when they're explaining everything. And it's just, literally, they know nothing about the killer. They don't even know who he is till like, right at the end. And only because the killer tells them who it is. Well, the killer's just But killing. as he's driving up to the guy's uh, cabin in the woods... He literally has one of the police call and tell him everything. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, this is the guy you should have been uh, arrest, uh, hunting down. He does this. He's uh, obviously killing them because his parents were, like, crazy and shit. Well, I just say, tell the cops, look out for over his coffee beans. Anyone buying coffee and anyone then making snowmen and making our coffee beans, which is pretty... The distinct. guy who is obviously hanging around the police detective making these coffee snowmen. Is it, like, maybe it's a thing in Norway that you make snowmen out of coffee beans? Yeah. You know, they were pushing that's, really maybe hard. that's why they don't do it. They were pushing that the snowmen were scary. Really hard. Like, they kept, like, panning to the snowman near it. It's like, oh, no, it's a snowman. And then occasionally, oh, it's a regular snowman. Oh, no, it's one of the coffee snowmen, but they've put a regular head on top of it. The Norway does look beautiful. Very snowy. Very snowy, God. That was one of the things too, by the way. I think they, I don't think that there was ever like not five feet of snow on the ground. Remember one of their like bizarre things of like, how? Hey, what do you think makes the killer kill? And they're like, snow. And it's like, yeah, you, you don't say this. It's all we've seen is snow in Norway. Mm. It means he'll be killing every day. It's like falling snow. Uh, okay, a little bit more specific, but I don't know. Yeah. I just found that was a bit weird. Anyway, no. Harry Holes sort of gets assigned to this missing woman's case. And uh, the new detective who is given... Did she deliberately try and get onto the case or was it just coincidental? Yes. Okay, she gets brought on the case too and it turns out she's also investigating these women disappearing because it reminds her of the case her dad has where women disappeared. Yeah, but he got killed on it. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he That's got why she's got a whole... Think so, about it. So this killer, that's why I couldn't get How old is this killer? Well, I think the first time he killed, he must have been in like... Really young, like 20s. I think he'd be in like medical school. Like that, that must be when sense. it started. Yeah, and she was young. So he kills... the. De- that's the thing also. Uh, all of what's-his-name scenes, Van Kilmer scenes, were kind of crap. They're all dubbed. They're, they're so had- terrible. There's one scene where uh, he gets onto like a, a vernacular, one of those snow lift sort of things. And he's going up to a, a crime scene, and he's just for like a couple of minutes. He's just got their ra- he got the radio on, and it's all the cops calling him a fucking moron, drunk. Yeah, that's and he's funny. just standing there listening to it. I'm like, what is happening? But then he's always running around drunk. Yeah, his scenes weren't useful though. They should have just cut them out, used them for something else, and then just had the thing that they had because anyway. He never. I think he all he does is go to a crime scene. He doesn't do any actual detective work. Like. Yeah, I don't know. There's no build up to the murderer. Well, in the modern day, though, the first person they go to is some woman. Oh, no, actually, that's the second. Okay, so the woman gets this. There's the first chick who gets taken and killed. The second one is the one they go to visit, right? So, some, yeah. so the killer calls in that she's missing. So they go there and find her. She's like, I'm not missing. Anyway, I'm not missing. I'm perfectly fine. So she, they leave. Then as they leave, 
And then if we find out, actually, she likes to sleep around a lot and she's recently had an abortion. Right. So as she leaves, what happens is the killer comes in the room, places a doll. Okay, she was c- killing chickens with an axe, by the way. Mm. Places a doll of a baby on top of the part where she was killing uh, chickens, right? Now, she turns around after hearing all this weird stuff about the missing file. After hearing all this bizarre stuff, cops throwing up everything, mm. and all she sees is half a doll baby on the thing where she was killing Covered chickens. Covered in blood and stuff. And instead of her reacting like a normal person would, like, which is perhaps grabbing the axe that she had beforehand or mm. freaking out or something, she walks over and starts looking at the doll and being like, oh, and she like crawls down and looks at the doll a little bit more. So, oh, of course, the, the killer, killer comes, comes up, up. gets her. Yeah. That's she, terrible. She injects, he, the, the killer injects everyone with a little syringe thing that knocks them out straight away. Then he's got this weird cutting thing. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. He gets some They They try and make it all look really, like, scary and stuff, but none of it comes off as intimidating at all. Like, the snowmen just look silly. The snowmen look really silly. The, the, the whole thing of him cutting the bones and the body like that. He kills her. He. This is where... Then they get a call. So this is why... Nah. Then he must call them back. Yeah, so he calls back the police, tells them, and then they go, oh, turn around straight away. Now, this is... Well, I know it looks like it's been two minutes, but it must have been like half an hour. I don't know. Okay, here's the, th- the problem. Because it's like Norway in the winter, how quick does it get dark there? Because it goes from sort of dark to yeah, he nighttime have, he really quick. He could have quick. taken the head off, crawled down that massive fucking uh, hole, no. See, what made you're... a snowman, put it on top, and then gone out. Then call- He had to do that. Here's your problem, Jared. You're thinking logically. Whereas this movie is so filled with holes and just random plot crap. There also looks to be one way in. There's one road there. So it's like they would but, have had to pass it. But his whole thing, is, the killer is like, he must have like magical powers throughout yeah. this film. Because he, he teleports from one place to another. He magically makes snowmen no, everywhere. He's got the power, as I said when we were watching this, remarkable coincidences. Yeah. Because there are so many things where it's like, wow. Isn't that lucky that he looked out the window? Isn't that lucky that she like went into the room and found the drugs in the cabinet hidden behind this that they did at this point? Like even the thing where he dresses up as the dude. Isn't it lucky that he knew that the guy was coming home? So he at that point of time went into the house while coincidentally while the uh, the actual guy was taking a break, break to dance around in front of him and so he went inside got changed put on his music started dancing around then he comes home to tell him to get out then as he leaves the guy's still on break or what about oh. what about he he places uh the drugs he's been giving the uh detective in back into the detective's uh, wardrobe so that the woman will come back Way later in the film, yeah. notice them freak out and leave so he can kidnap them. Well, you got to remember, he's got to give the drugs to him first. Then the detective will throw away the drugs. And then somehow... Well, no, he br- he brings them back when he's doing the... Yeah, but how did thing. he know he threw away the drugs? Because he's been watching... All he does, apparently, is watch this detective. Somehow he's And been no one has been him. able to figure it out. Yeah, somehow he's been watching him during Because the detectives too. aren't looking for the killer. They're looking for... Each other. Each They're other. looking at each other. They're constantly like searching for each other and they stuff. They don't do any detecting. No detecting. What about, work. okay, so the, the female detective. Is, the biggest fucking point that they bring up is snow. They kill when there's snow. We know. Norway is covered in snow it, right now. There's like never a moment in that movie where it almost isn't snowing. That's ridiculous so that they say the that. The female detective towards the end uh, is so sure that it's the evil magnate that for some reason she's going to sleep with him. I wasn't sure what her uh, plan was. She was going to sleep with him I, and film it. I, I don't exactly I know what her was plan was. I thinking that he would try and kill her and maybe he'll, she will defend herself. But hey, oh, as we saw... Okay. As but that wouldn't saw, make sense because he never kills the women. He's, oh, wait, he does sleep with one of them, doesn't he? Who? That was the only thing tying him to the case was that maybe he'd been having an affair with his old business partner's wife 20 years earlier. Yeah. that Was that the only thing? Yeah. That was the only thing tying him to the case, basically. That and the, the doctor, a lot of the women had been going to the doctor's abortion clinics. Yes. I'll just... Uh, so he sets that all up, right? Uh, she said she has like led him into this big trap where she's going to film him killing her. 
Maybe. No, I think but, she's going to stop it. But, but she's terrible. But that's anyway. the thing. Before she's able to, if before the guy even gets up there to have sex with her, the killer has been waiting there the whole time and kills her. So the killer knew she was going to go into that room. Was he just oh, following yeah, her? No, that's why what, she, how did any of that because happen? Because he had, he did the phone call again, and she went straight there. Oh, actually, this is the thing you did. Like, he? Though. I must have missed that. That she got called there, she found something out, and she said, Don't just send me it now, I'll go there now. So she goes there. There. And when she gets there. Oh, is this the doctor bit? What? The first time with the doctor who kills himself or gets killed? No, I'm talking about the time when she gets. This movie is such a mess. It's a mess. So again, the, the, the criminal has to give the information to the cops who then get her, who then she finds that out and goes straight there. And then when she gets there, she gets abducted by him. So he had to again set up the cops. He sets up the cops like three, four times. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, three, four times he sets up the cops. They're not very good. You they're, know why they're, they're not well, good? Because they're all drunk or halfwits. Uh, yeah. They even talk about it. But not only that, but she gets suspended from it because we were saying, wow, why didn't she? We say this. Uh, I know you say this a lot in movies, but it's like, we were like, why are they going in by themselves? Or why are they doing this by themselves? Well, okay, so... Earlier on in the film, uh, they go to interview the abortion doctor, and he's kind of a creepy guy. Oh, yeah, that guy's creepy. Like, he's constantly and smiling he's and laughing. Women. He's pimping He's women. definitely pimping women. Okay, so but, he's um, not a good guy. I don't know why, because he's rich. So why is he, like... Power. Doing the... Uh, just Come power? On, okay. power. He's a dick. Uh, Harry Holmes starts interviewing about the women who, like... It's like, why did she come to your office? And he's like, well, I didn't see her. I don't know. I just own the clinic. Yeah. He owns like a branch of the clinic. Apparently giving abortions is very profitable. Well, no, 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 but it's not just abortions he does. He he does like a whole fertility thing. Okay. So like oh, Danny DeVito true. out of uh, Junior. Junior. Yeah, he's Danny DeVito out of Junior. Man, what I'd give to watch a movie like Junior. Actually, Junior was pretty long. I don't know. But uh, yeah, give, give Harry, Harry starts questioning him and then she butts in and she's asking all these weird questions like, Ah, uh, who else is in the house? Well, we must search the house. Even Harry, the detective, is like, "What the fuck are you on about, lady? Could you calm down? You can't do any of this. It's illegal." You know what movie I kept getting feelings for? What? You know the girl with the dragon tattoo? I haven't seen that. Is that really? by the same guy? What? The... Is it written by the same guy? That would explain a lot why I thought it felt the same. I think the uh, the director also did Tank Tinker Tailor Soldier, which is a movie I really like. No, wait, 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 no. David Finch. Are you talking about the remake or the original? Uh, I'm not sure. Because there was a remake of The Girl with the Grand Tattoo, which was David Finch. I haven't seen either of those. Uh, I like the original. I mean, the but, remake's um, really good too. But later on in the film, uh, the killer is obviously trying to set up the abortion doctor as like the fall guy. Uh, so he has collected these dead bodies of the women he's killed and their phones, and he sets off their phone in the guy's basement. She immediately sprints out the door without telling anyone what's happening, goes there, climbs over the fence, and, like, bursts into the house. Yeah. So, of course, and I was so happy when it's, like, the police, yeah, they suspend her. Yeah. They also, like, think that the doctor did it, even though he's, and then he killed himself, even though... Even when they're walking in, they're like, it's obvious that he didn't do it. Yeah, but he was apparently the red herring, which we didn't realize was the red herring. We didn't realize we were meant to think it was him. Yeah. It was just too obvious that it wasn't. Ah, oh, this well, this movie gave me a headache watching it. Well, that's the one watching. The, it, the, the it's snowman. so boring because it's just these guys drinking and complaining about life. I don't know why, but I kind of got the vibes of like the girl with the dragon tail a little bit. But like, but the difference is that like that's done really well. Well, this killer and mystery thing isn't done well. A, a lot of the reason the snowman killer is killing people is because people are getting too close. They keep saying they like he must. They must be getting close, so they kill them. But at no point do they even think it's this guy. That it, that it's the 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 new boyfriend. No, he has to call him up again. He 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 literally calls up the cops and literally calls up our characters to tell them that he's doing it and to come get him. He, he tells them. He captures one of the uh, the detectives, kills her, and uses her finger to get into their mainframe thing and no, just wipe all her. the evidence. Yeah, he kills her. No. She's in the car. Yeah, she's dead. alive. No, she's dead. No, she's alive. She's, she's dead. at the end of the movie. No, that's the girlfriend. No, the, 
She's got her finger cut off and there's no blood coming out or anything. She's duct taped to the steering wheel. Pretty she's sure dead. She's alive. No, she's dead. Really? He oh. kills her? Oh, yeah, she's dead. Uh, I we couldn't see. tell because we only see the body for a second. Snowman. What's it called? The Snowman. It's just The Snowman. The Snowman? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's some animated movies called that. But uh, the movie is filled with awkward scenes. There's a really... Huh. Guess what? What? The first thing you type... If you type in the snowman does, it says Katarina die. It's because you don't know. You don't fucking know. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Well, I'm just saying it's the first thing people apparently don't know otherwise also. Well, she's in the car and looked pretty cold. But um, there's a really weird scene between Harry Holmes and Katarina just after she's been suspended. He goes to a house to get a gun or possibly to question her about her father because oh, I don't know rather than investigating the murder he went to Bergen this other town to investigate her and her father which turns out to be connected but that's a random coincidence uh he knocks down the door and is like yelling out her name in uh, this he's hey. not drunk at this point what apparently there's a big thing in the book that is actually Katarina who's meant to call out the snowman for he's like fucked up view of how it's always the woman's fault but in actual fact it was the dude's fault and how it's the snow like he's bad yeah yeah it was her character who's meant to do that not michael fassbender's her character doesn't do anything basically. No, no. her character doesn't runs that, from place that, to place getting in trouble that's why apparently lots of people are pissed off about that that makes a lot of sense yeah because he's a terrible detective he i didn't understand how he knew anything he knew at the end of the film oh yeah she is he dead. was just making shit up she's dead yeah she's dead i didn't realize she was dead she was like Tied up to the steering wheel and I stuff. Like all the fucking things coming up. Why is Snowman such a crappy movie? It's a long, boring, complicated mess. I wasn't even sure how many people had been killed by the end of it. Is this bad though? I kind of do want to read the book. Apparently, the books are good. But um, yeah. So Harry breaks into her room. She comes out. She doesn't see who it is. Kicks him in the leg. He turns around, throws her on the ground, and I'm like, okay, he's like. Taking her out, he's going to tell her to calm down. It's just him. But instead, he flips her over and lies on her back, yeah? Oh, that's And that's where weird. it starts getting really... Rapey. Very kind rapey. Of rapey. Nah, that was because not kind of rapey. That was rapey. They have, like, a conversation, and he's lying on top of her, breathing into her back. Holy and it's, like, it's just, like, really weird. And, she's, and then finally, she's like, just get off me. And he's like, he just keeps talking. She's like, get off, and she's screaming and stuff. And then finally, get, she gets up. I think it was meant to be sexual tension between them, but you never feel it. No, I th- I don't think it was. I, they Are you sure? You can't fuck up that much. They, it was I meant think to you be could, I, because they do. It was meant to be rapey-ish. Okay, I just realized, I think the book's either number seven or number five. Ah. So no wonder it doesn't make sense. I'm, I just saw some, some people I follow on like the books are saying, if you want a complicated plot with lots of characters and lots of twists and turns, here's the book for you. And I'm like, ha, huh, not that movie, though. It's but the opposite. There aren't that many characters in the not book. in the movie. In, in the movie, That's there aren't that I'm many saying. characters. There's the like five like... people with names, and one of them happens to be the killer, and it can't be the end of the it's other ones. So, it is so painfully obvious that it's the killer. It's not even like, a, oh, I worked it out sort of thing. The doctor, or, know. The doctor there's no way literally comes up to the, him on the train and is just like, oh, yeah, I'm just on the train with you. No yeah. reason. He, oh, where are they sitting again? A kitty part of the train. Yeah, he's sitting. Okay, a main part of this is just how bad Harry Holmes is as a father figure. Yeah. Because he's got this, uh, his ex girlfriend's son. I don't think it's his son. I think, yeah. Oleg is like, he's trying to be like a father to him, but he keeps just like forgetting about him. It's oh, like, yeah, he's shitty. He's a shitty detective. He's a shitty social life kind of person. Yeah. And I, I, I'm I, not surprised that he couldn't figure out who the serial killer was. He was killing people on, like, the flimsiest things. Yeah. It. He, well, look, actually, after listening about a lot of serial killers, here's the thing I'll say. Even though we're saying, like, he was killing people for the flimsiest things, oh, his, I guess his reasoning behind yeah. it was wrong. Look, if you do look at, like, a lot of true crime and a lot of serial killers, the reasoning behind it, Normally, a lot of them are just fucking, like, crazy, and a lot of the reasons behind doing stuff is bullshit. Yeah. Actually, oh, actually, straight up, actually, if you're a serial killer, your reasons behind just killing people is bullshit. So Probably. So that's why I'm not too surprised when it's like, oh, his logic was fucked up, because mm. it's like, 
oh, my mom's the one to blame for it. It's like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? I will Why say I gave, I, I had, had one big that's, laugh. That's, that's the only thing that makes sense. Having logic that doesn't make sense for a serial killer to be killing actually does make sense mm. if he's a serial killer. I had one big laugh through the entire movie. You did? Was it Michael uh, Fassbender being drunk all the time, waking up in kindergarten? No, no. I, uh, one big laugh in the movie. Um, right at the end, he goes to confront the guy, the the killer at the big, uh, oh, such a shitty, shitty farmhouse. He runs. He he knocks the guy away from his family. Oh yeah. The bad guy runs out into the snow, and Fassbender eventually goes after him. By the way, the bad guy has a gun at this point. Fassbender walks doesn't. out. He walks out onto the snow, and he's going like. Because he can't see the bad guy, he's like, "Oh, I'm here to fight you. I'm ready for you." You just see this bang, and Fassbender just falls over. And I, I just, I just laughed. It was, yeah. it was such a funny scene because he walks out and he's like, "I'm ready to fight you." Finally, bang, falls over. I just got annoyed when Fassbender walked into the room and he saw that his uh, girlfriend and the son, the kid was the kid, whatever, Oleg was a uh, held hostage, and that he didn't just shoot the guy in the because face because it's not like he's holding a knife or a syringe to him. It's the weird cutting tool, but you need to like set the cutting tool up and then hold it down for it to work. Yeah, it's not so like you can just kill someone I with guess it. Maybe he was thinking that he would. Uh, it's so quick that you you know he would pull the trigger and then he'll cut her head off straight away. But honestly, I'm just like shoot the guy in the face, shoot him right in the face. Shoot him in the face. Yep. Just shoot him in the face. Not even that. He he walked in and the guy wasn't facing him, was it? It was like the back of his head. Shoot him in the back of the head. Yep. Yep. I don't know. No, you got to remember the killer can control everything that's going the on. The killer, yeah. His whole thing with the coffee beans because his mum was like constantly counting coffee beans for some reason. I might read the book. Yeah, read the books. I don't know. That, I think that's the takeaway from the film. Don't watch the like film, third, read the books. I don't books. know how many in it is. Apparently Why would you start a series at like the fifth one? It's fifth or third or seventh. I don't know which. Was one that was. like the popular one or something? Yeah, it seems to be the most. Po- wait, wait. It's the most popular one rated on Goodreads, but that could be because the movie came out, mm. which would pop it up a lot. That's uh, the whole Mister Snowman with the notes just seems silly. That's it. The, the killer seems silly throughout this. He is very silly. Mm. It's a silly killer. Making and and the money. reason he's gone after the detective is he saw the detective uh, with medals in a oh, in, in a newspaper oh and went, that guy must have a happy family. A- so he stalked him for like five years. Again, though, for a serial killer. Maybe that a, makes some Being a logic, that making absolutely no sense to us, you look at true crime, serial killers do that shit mm. because they're honest. They're not geniuses sometimes. Sometimes they're fucking idiots who think they're geniuses. True. So Although this killer is a genius compared to everyone else around him. Wow. Uh, look, I think the cops are just so bad. He's having... When they go into the house and they, he realizes that they've got like pictures of the killing pe- killed people everywhere and stuff. Oh, Was that, yeah. Did that happen? He goes in and the house is chock full of evidence. No, he's left the evidence things up with these Oh, okay. okay. Which it kind of makes sense with a killer. He wants to be known. But why is he killing people and trying to frame other people for the murders? If he's not, he's not he doesn't want to him. try and get away no, with no, no. it. He doesn't try and frame him. He just coincidentally is killing... No, no, that's why he kills mm-hmm. the doctor, right? Because oh, yeah, he that's sets, He sets Sorry. the doctor up to You're take right. the frame, You're to right. be framed. Like, he, b- he blows the doctor's head off with a shotgun to make it look like a suicide. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that one. But then he immediately starts taunting them again. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, would you recommend this film? No. Yeah, it's available on Netflix, but it is a slow, complicated slow. mess. If you if you want a film that's cold, it's set in a cold place with people investigating things, and it's really good. Watch the girl with the dragon tattoo. I personally prefer the original. A lot of people get mad at me because they really like the remake. I prefer the original. Plus, then there's the other two movies. So okay. Watch them. Mm. Yeah. No problem. That's the movie. Thanks. Keep warm. Don't hang around with people making snowmen. You know, it's such a pity you can't do that over here. Right. You know, we Not won't get any moment. snowmen killers over here. Disappointing. Mm. Disappointing. Thanks for listening to the end of the reel. If you know anyone else who is a fan of good bad movies, share this podcast around to them. Sharing is the best way to help promote our podcast. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye bye.